and you're checking out all these different videos out there, if it's somebody big like Stephen Colbert, I don't like the video. They're, they're making so much money. I, do, I don't care about that. But the little guys, you know, like I don't do hot ones. I don't click on it. But if it's Westy, like if I'm clicking on Westy and I'm watching his video, I'm going to like it. I think I think the big thing is is that what you need to do is you well I'd like you to do it is just be kind and like, like click on videos and stuff you know just watch them I'm gonna probably dissect this video dice it up and edit it and then do the different videos in here like Warzone and Warzone and then do the Odin out of it just do some little shorts here and there so you guys can see me Live. I, I didn't realize my microphone was right in my face. But going back to the, like, just liking a video. Just if you're on a video, like it. It really helps people out. And it just shows that you're a kind person. That's all. I am a kind person. That's why I do it all the time. Oh, Westy. No DMZ, huh? Right, here we go. Yeah, and on top of it, go to Westy's YouTube channel and like and subscribe. Let's get him over a hundred thousand. He needs to get there. Same with Tactical Brett. Brit. Let's watch a little bit of this. Let's see what the new Warzone map gameplay looks like. Uh, their bit rates are a little off sometimes. As clear as I can make it. Sorry about that, folks. I got Pretzel playing some songs for us. Thanks, Pretzel. care about the new war war zone maps i get a little bored with them now i used to be like really into it but what i'm curious about have, have we found uh zombies do they have anything with zombies special reveal zombies npm more with milo who's milo you know, again, important to the story when you go back to Sakaev and this turn in his outcomes PMC group. They're his muscle that he's hired. Thanks, Milo. Um, one hour ago, Modern Warzone official zombie reveal trailer. Yeah, let's check this out. Let's pause it. Let's go all the way up. Turn that big boy up. Let's go full screen. This is what I'm excited about, zombies. So, let's check it out. Is it... What do I know about this? Is it a... It's multiplayer with a bunch of teams? Is it PvP, PvE? Is it really going to be PvP while we're fighting zombies? Let's find out. Call of Duty presents Modern Warfare Z. Did that just say Modern War Z? Do 
do the come on activision let's play together as a team i don't want to fight enemies i don't want to be like in a mode where i'm killing zombies and then somebody snipes me because all they care about is shooting people and getting killing people killing other players i guess is what i mean Because I'm positive because we don't get in trouble with this music. Just so you know, I, I'm, I'm mixing it up. That's what we us create content creator, content creators and streamers do. What we should probably do is turn the volume down a little bit and my music up a little. It might confuse it. Hellhounds. Speed Cola, okay. We got the perks still, of course. I think Saxon was telling me that they, um, are trying to have a zombie game, a zombie every game now. A zombie mode every game launch. That's a big boy. It looks cool. November 10th. Uh, Pre-order digital and lock zombie ghost operator scan available now. Cool. So you can show your friends that you bought Modern Warfare 3 pre-order and unlock full harvester. Tracer weapon blueprint. Those tra the tracer bullets are really cool. They're fun to watch. But okay, they didn't show us any gameplay. Official Modern Warfare 3 zombie gameplay and full game breakdown. Let's see what this guy says. Let's received a USB containing the footage you are seeing on screen the very world's first gameplay of MW3 zombies showing you guys what it is including this absolutely insane wonder weapon that they have added into this game alongside the returning ray gun the wonder Wop. this is the brand new one though so that's a new variation of the uh wonder weapon or the is it the waffle and it looks like it absolutely smokes zombies. This is Noah from the future. I forgot like three really, really important things to include in this. PhD Flopper is back. Absolutely pog. Tombstone is back. I hate my life. And then also there's a zombie. <laughs> two, two, okay, I gotta admit, two, Tombstone was fun sometimes. You get, when you're playing by yourself and you're doing it, it was worth it. Mastery cam. You're playing with other people. They can revive you. Grind that you can do for all guns from MW2 and MW3. There's essentially, all of it is available in the game. They were like, this is super hard to put in, but it's something we really cared about of putting in. So zombie camo grind for all the guns. Anyway. Camo for every single gun. Wow. Back to you. How many, put it in the comments. How many, how many guns are we going to have in this game? I know they're doing uh, Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Anyway, we're going to be talking about everything that they told us about this game mode, including some secret stuff that we asked them and they actually ended up up answering like about the easter egg quest and everything like that but let me just first talk about what is this game please get to this point because if it's pvp i'm gonna cry like how does it work i'm not gonna cry i'm just saying just i'm just letting you know I'm, i might cry what does it play most like i would say I would definitely cry. That this game is a battle royale map. It is literally on the battle royale map for this game because eventually there is a zone after one hour. The game sessions are one hour after one hour. A zone starts spreading and you better get on a helicopter or you just get left behind and you die. There's no extracting out. But I am saying extracting because it is also an extraction based game. 
if you do not extract out you die at the very very end however that means that if you extract out with stuff you can take that into your next game so what do i mean by that you can find a perk can in this game you can complete an objective and if you get really lucky you get a case that has a ray gun in it and that just goes in your inventory and you can choose to pop that case and get the ray gun instantly or you can try to extract out on the helicopter with it and sounds really really cool there's a butt and essentially load into your next game with that use up that consume you want and load up in the next game i say that because it's an extraction game as well this game is most like you know outbreak gameplay with an extraction spin on it essentially if you like dmz and you don't like fighting against other players you are going to love this mode because it is wait wait a did he just say that you are going to love this mode and you don't like fighting against other players you are going to love this mode because it is all against ai there are 24 other like real life humans sitting in gaming in their chairs 24 humans in every single match but none of them can shoot you none of them can hurt you you are you fucking serious god damn it. <laughs> i need this game now damn it you are playing against the environment you were just playing against the zombies you were just playing against the ai humans that are running around and essentially here's the game mode. here's how it works you load in you, you everybody loads in all around the map in the basically tier one zone this is the super super easy zone everyone is going to be able to survive you would really have to be absolutely terrible at, at zombies to die in the tier one zone and essentially you all spawn in there and everybody just individually starts looting up huh so they're going to have different levels different tiers you have an hour of gameplay before the zone shrinks or you have to extract and like getting objectives complete All right, what did that say back here okay direct line fraction name ping a contract okay so these are your quests complete a contract exfil so that that's pretty basic i wonder if that's for zone it's interesting Start okay looting up and like getting so you ping that you guys go to it and then you get it punching once and essentially once you're all set up in the first zone whether that be you know 10 minutes whether it take 20 minutes you want to basically speed run the first zone get ready and go into the second zone where the zombies are going to be higher level this is like round 15 round 20 zombie is equivalent in terms of huh okay so zone one 15 and under level zombies zone two 15 or higher zombies how much health they have and how set up you want to be once you get in this zone rewards are better more points everything is better in this zone but the zombies are also more dangerous you're also going to start running into some mini bosses like the mangler stuff like that that are just going to pose more of a threat to you you have to really stick with your team because this game mode is i would say a very social game mode you want to load in with friends and if you load in by yourself you really want to just kind of like join up with a random Ah, uh, that sounds so cool. And try to maybe my, maybe I can get some friends. Can oh, I know at least three of them who will want to play this. A request to join their squad, which you can do. You can get up to six player squads. But if you're going into the you know high tier zones, there is almost no way that you are going to survive by yourself. This is a very yeah. What was the so Cold War? What was Cold War? What was that one? That mode was really fun. I'm just, I'm having a brain fart right now. Social game, and I think a lot of people will actually have a lot of fun with that, but it is not for solo players is what I found. Solo play is, is not, you're not, it's not balanced for it. Yeah, I mean, there, I, I, I don't disagree with them. I think there's going to be a lot of people out there who will try this solo, and that would be great content for their channels. So there's these guys out there who do like thousand levels on zombie, which is freaking ridiculous essentially it's balanced for playing around every one of your teammates uh and it can be very very fun like we we had it by the way you gotta like subscribe to this noah j456 guy like i said every time i go into a channel i like to get them i was reading this thing i like to give them a a, a like because that really helps them out he's at five point uh, 1 million subscribers help me reach 5 million subscribers um buddy you're over it you should update that subscribe to my reaction channel subscribe subscribe to my short channel all right okay 
absolutely massive squad all of us driving cars and just running over like hordes of zombies it was really really fun and then when you go into the tier three zone which is obviously the most dangerous zone that's when it starts getting real that's when you start seeing the absolute elites you start seeing the uh, mega abominations that have an absurd amount of health you really want to be that dude that looked like a real dude with a gun okay hold on health you really want to be set up for these zones but obviously you get the was it it was like kind of right here back up yeah that's a dude with a gun it says grunt so you're fighting ai with guns as well zombies and obviously the most EV, pve the all the way you start seeing the absolute elites you start seeing the uh, mega abominations that have an absurd amount of health you really want to be set up for these zones but obviously you get the highest tier loot and everything like that now you're going to be able to pick up plates plates are in this game that is the armor system essentially you can you can get jug but you also can get plates like the plates are really going to be what protects okay. you from everything you're going to plate up if you get hit too many times you're really not going to want to take oh, that too much ai looks blood dumb blood there because the zombies too much damage in the later look at this he goes he goes up the stairs yeah right here he goes up the stairs and they're just all clustered together is ai gonna be dumb in this one you're gonna plate up if you get hit too many times you're really not gonna want to take too much damage in the later zones because the zombies clap you and if you have no plates you die in like a couple hits it's really really punishing if you don't have plates hmm. plates are very very important for this game mode um the humans, the zombies, they all will fight each other. Essentially, if you lead a horde of zombies into the humans, they all immediately start brawling. Now, these humans are rolling around on the map like you see on screen right here. They're going to roll around. They're going to stop if you start shooting at them. That's, that's cool. That is super cool. So you can okay. go to different fortresses. You can literally, it's pinpointed on the map where the human strongholds are. You can assault those. You can completely avoid them. It's basically like if you don't want to interact and you throw the, the human, monkey to get the zombies over there. Don't have to. They are going to kind of do Just their own show zombies attacking them. Unless you engage Up there, it looks like to the left, there's some zombies coming. Hostile, but it is possible to just completely avoid them and, uh, you know, just drive past them, everything like that. That is one thing I will say. Driving around is super, super fun because it is by far the best way to kill the zombies also you're going to see here them like throwing some monkey bombs into the other human ais and getting the zombie hordes to go over there and oh that's so cool i love that while they're all just chilling on the on the bridge it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty entertaining it's pretty funny um but the, the humans are going to have their own rewards the zombies are going to have their own rewards you can basically play it how you want to all of the stuff you're doing in this humans and zombies are going to have their own rewards like loot higher points hmm Interesting. Map is I'm interested. Basically, around getting stronger, you want to do contracts, which are things like you know, go here and assassinate this like mini boss. Go over here and like act. No, I'm jealous of you, buddy. I have no idea who you are. First off, congratulations for hitting your five million. That is awesome. Second of all, you're playing zombies early. These ether miners, whatever the objective may be, they're all going to just give you like a random reward, as well as a bunch of points that you can use to spend on pack punch and everything like that. Uh, guns, let's talk guns. Weapon rarities. Weapon rarities are back. There is, obviously you start with... Okay, so down here we have, uh, you got your settings for your controls. So it looks like he's playing on a controller. Uh, right bumper, left bumper, looks like you're some type of perk. R1 is going to end up being, um, your grenades, so your, your, uh, throwables. And then over here you got your money. So this guy has fifty thousand dollars. This is thirty-five, and this guy has fifty. So you rack up money a lot. I'm curious how much things cost. And then down here, you got your armor plates. Just looking at the HUD. Here's a countdown. Thirty minutes left. Uh, low threat in that area. Does it tell you? So I wonder if this eye right here means uh, like zone one or something. 
like your gray one that you can see on screen then you can go to green you can go to blue you can go to purple and then you can go to gold and then you have your like hyper rares which are your wonder weapons and stuff like that those are like the gold tier even above everything else so uh obviously those are the best but you have to get lucky mystery box is on the map perk machines are on the map wonder fizz is on the map uh essentially everything that you would expect in a round based zombie mode is on the map in some capacity uh you can upgrade your armor slots by actually just picking up armors so this perk over here is that what that gun was the electricity okay so right here he pulls out a side weapon on the map perk machines are on the map wonder fizz is on the map he does it right here uh, in a sec yeah so this is like his perk weapon so you got l1 r1 right here okay Cool. Everything that you would expect in a round in, zombie mode uh, is electrocutes them all on that one. Uh, you can upgrade your armor slots by actually just picking up armors. Like there will be armor, like you know, slot holders. You can pick those up and upgrade your armor slot holder. And there's new drops like full armor right there, which is actually going to fully restore your armor. Uh, uh, essentially, all the normal power-ups, the pickups, uh, the, the point system, everything like that is kind of what you would expect if you've played Outbreak. All this stuff works locally. Like, uh, I got the skull when it after everything was that. dead. Insta kill. Like, that always sucks. We'll get that insta kill as well. So, all of that stuff is to say, uh, again, this is not a solo style mode. You are going to want to roll with friends and play against all of the enemies on the map. Um, as you can see, these people are in the farthest out zone, initiating an exfil. You can exfil from any z any area. Basically, it, they want to make it like really accessible to any you know play style. If you have really really bad friends, you can just stay in the first zone. Or if you want to go over and explore and try to find some Easter eggs and stuff like that, you can do that as well. Was we'll that an Easter, Easter egg there? Egg. So essentially, what they said is all around the map are going to be a ton of Easter eggs. There's going to be a lot of stuff to find, a yeah. lot of things to do, a lot of like you know if you know you know type things. However, there is going to be no main easter egg at all upon launch like the first map what you're watching here there's going to be no main easter egg. so you went into the get the gas zone is that is that what you did here yeah, i know we're listening to him i know however there is going to be no main easter egg at all upon launch like the first map what you're watching here there's going to be no main easter egg but instead of a main easter egg they essentially are going to have very like guided missions yeah you're like in a gas zone hmm. that i would say that are going to tell you the story like you go into the mission it tells you what to do but it's it's like a serp goal 31 minutes in hmm. okay and essentially at the end of that you're going to get for 30 so 31 minutes left acts, so 29 like minutes in all the acts you've essentially seen the whole story on top of that though and, and kind of like some bright some good bright news is that they are you know teasing and we didn't see any of it there's no gameplay of it yet but we saw in the very very first trailer there is actually a huge huge world boss and they basically alluded to like these world bosses you better bring everyone in the server like go around collect everyone in your cars and go take on these world bosses because they are going to be incredibly difficult which okay good I, I want there to be like a really really hard like big challenge but it is it is basically going to be like the in-game, in-game type stuff. They talked about in-game, and they said there is in-game stuff to get. Now, let's talk about that. What does in-game actually yeah, what, look like? Yeah, what so does in-game look like? And hold on real quick. He has one, two, three, four, five. So you can have squads of five on this one. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can have six people play. That's cool. Very, very rare, like, schematic. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's, we're going to copy that real quick. We're going to click on that. That you can actually find that are not one time use. Once you get them and you extract out with them and then you craft them, essentially you can have a ray gun spawning into your match. And once you do it once, it doesn't go away. It just goes on a cooldown. So the ray gun, they said 48 hours for the ray gun. Uh, obviously that might change before launch, but initially they said 48 hours would be the cooldown for the ray gun. And then you can get stuff and you like can craft much easier stuff like much easier to get but also easier to craft and lower cooldown is just like increase your weapon rarity by one whatever your rarity is you just spawn in with that in your inventory you can i had to text my uh two hours this was the creature example. server on discord uh, storyline where does this story yeah, like actually said it is set 40 people 40 44 like people in, in my group we're gonna see and we hang out and play uh, video games war characters and stuff like that come back it's kind of like a conjoining of the zombies world with the modern warfare world 
and they said a lot of stuff is explained as you kind of like play through and everything like that and uh where it takes place is actually in between it's not in the modern warfare 3 campaigns timeline it's actually in between modern warfare 1 and modern warfare 2. so take with take from that what you will i have absolutely no clue how it's going to fit in between those two games but there it is so now i've given you guys all of the facts basically just giving you the exact info that i was given tune in october 5th yep the other thing that we need to watch is we need to watch the, the battlefield all that's left to talk about are my actual thoughts and honestly i think that this game is going to sit really really well and actually be really fun for fans of dmz and maybe outbreak who maybe don't want the really the pvp aspect of warzone but like the big map driving around with friends having a good time just having something to shoot at an objective to accomplish if yeah this really good, this looks like, super fun to try a level three run like let's go into the third zone this time let's try to kill a mega uh, abomination which by the way the mega abominations have a brand new attack where since they're so big they can't fit in buildings they start sending in like a smoke screen uh, that just smokes you out they're little explosive crawlers that they send into a building to get you out if you're hiding in there trying to kill the mega anyway that so so far this looks super cool i think the big question of it is okay you're gonna pay 70 bucks right how bored are you gonna get with this and i haven't beat it i have not beat a call of duty campaign in forever like I, I play it and then I like I, I stop like I, I don't even continue. It sounded really really cool, but th th basically I am saying that this game is going to be really really good and really really fun in okay. a group. And if you like the kind of outbreak, you know, war zone-y style gameplay, again, if you're just fighting against bots, I think that people who prefer the round based experience. And Once again, Noah, I'm jealous of this. You're playing this game. I gotta wait a month and five days. To play this. Who likes solo? Like I, personally, for me, I enjoy solo. I enjoy so solo too. I agree with you on that. The most. That's the game mode that really like. That I, that's, I love having full control of my zombies game. I tried to run around in my game a little bit solo, and it is straight up not a game that's built around solo you are obviously meant to be playing this as a squad and okay it balances the game around you you know having up to like 20 people running around again really there's really a riff for friends and fi having like really random that's moments cool. where you know you find a squad of six and your squad of six just ends up rolling around together stuff like that can be really fun but i just don't think it's very conducive to solo yeah, they're all down are not balanced for solo in the slightest now what they do post launch they said they are looking at you know in-game stuff post launch they said they're looking at a lot of stuff post launch so whatever take from that what you will they said essentially like we're, we're working on a lot of potential things for post launch in terms of easter eggs in terms of game ah, the way that this is played like open world zombies including all new stuff got better they, they basically very open cold war but we're obviously leaving it open and then because i can't say anything there's of course. a lot more coming to this game it sounds like that is not just this mode or is not just like an easter egg list like <laughs> you know zombie campaign that you do and then you beat kind of like a normal campaign that's just in the snap essentially they are going to be working on a lot of stuff and i i think if that would be cool if they have a zombie campaign where you get from point a to point b if you're like me if you're wanting a solo experience i don't think it's too late to write that out uh, before launch, I think I will be personally trying to play this with friends. I think it's going to be played way, way better that way, and that's not always a bad thing. Did he, did he exactly say before launch? I'm still optimistic <laughs> in terms of, like, having some good times on this. Will it be a daily play? I don't know yet. I'll wait to see. I only played it for an hour, and obviously I wanted to play it more after that hour, so I took that as a good sign. But, I, I, you know me. I always like to be super, super optimistic. And this, uh, this one up here has 85 minutes. They played it for more than an hour. And then this one, two, three, four players. So I wonder if this is all his footage. And, you know, not be mad if my optimism isn't met. So anyway, that's basically where we're at with this game. That is the end of the footage that I was given. That's cool. Okay. So it wasn't his footage. It was somebody else's footage. I like that. He played for an hour. That's super cool. All right, let's move on. Let's go. Uh...